Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 uh, for the April 2019 update or 19H1. Build 18.353 released yesterday March 8th 2019 and of course this is a uh, second build this week. We had another one on Tuesday. So three weeks in a row now that we've got two builds in a week. Increased pace of builds, of course, means that we're getting slowly closer and closer to what will be 19H1. Um, install went well, no problems at all. Uh, things are actually really working well. The uh, performance and everything is okay. Got no problems, no blue screen, green screens or whatever. Um, what is new in here? Nothing. They've just issued an update fixing some bugs and uh, lots of little bugs fixes here and there. Uh, a shrinking list of known issues, which is good. Still some known issues though available there. Uh, one of them that a lot of people are mentioning and it's still there. If you get, play games that have anti-cheat uh, software with it, well, it sometimes green screens the Windows 10 builds so if you are trying to play a game and you green screen it probably is the anti-cheat stuff apart from that um of course we take a look at new features when we do this one of the new features that we're talking today about is what you see in the middle of the screen here which is the sandbox mode it now is available will only be available to computers and machines that run the pro version or the enterprise version so here you see it on my pro version and so basically what sandbox is is a windows within windows so this is a environment that runs entirely in a window it is what we call sandbox because it actually is contained that means that when you're actually using your computer if you start using this um, you're actually using a windows that is kind of a clean installed windows and that clean installed windows is autonomous it can't interfere with the outside world basically so you are not going to be infected if for example malware would go into the sandbox mode that means that you would technically have a um, you know a contained malware contained virus uh, once you shut down the sandbox mode it's like shutting down a computer uh, what's good about sandbox mode is mostly to test software. Uh, sometimes you want to test some software. You want to see if it's okay. If you're scared that maybe there could be malware or something wrong with a piece of software, you can actually try it in the sandbox mode. So it will be contained if something bad happens. And it is um, basically a Windows that um, is always like of a clean install. So one of the things that's nice about it, and, and that is really cool, is that because it's kind of a clean install, the other thing that you could do here is test a software that maybe is not running within your machine. You know, sometimes when you actually install uh, a program, sometimes it doesn't work and you're wondering, okay, is it just my computer, is it just me? Well, what you could technically do here is start up sandbox mode and in there, you will try the piece of software. If it works, well, something is interfering in your main windows. Because within the sandbox mode, every time you start it, it's like a new version of Windows that you just clean install on your PC. Everything that you do in here is erased once you shut down or close the, um, the window. So when you actually stop Windows Sandbox, it typically is like completely uh, erasing your PC and the next time you start up well you'll have a brand new clean install Windows within Windows so it's kind of cool uh, there are a little bit of things that they're tweaking here to uh, make it easier uh, like uh, making the um, exchange of data from one uh, machine to the other a little easier within the sandbox mode uh, the way it works is when your mouse is within that sandbox window you are controlling what's in here and when your mouse is outside of the window you're now controlling what's in your PC so um, it depends and that's the thing 
to, uh, you know, it's important to know where the, uh, the mouse pointer is because it tells you which um, of the um, PC you're using. There's one thing that I would probably say that is a problem in sandbox mode, and um, this is probably what you need to fix. Um, so you see that the start menu has all that crap pre-installed, and it's because it's like a brand new install, so the crap that's there is there. The problem is it makes sandbox mode slow to actually start up, because every time you start it up, it's like a new install. It wants to actually download the latest version of all of these apps. And you know what? That shouldn't be. These apps shouldn't be there. And there should be like really a minimum install in this uh, in this um, sandbox mode. A uh, few of you have mentioned this is why is there all the crap in the sandbox mode that there is in the regular windows? And that I totally agree. It shouldn't be there and should be a cleaner interface, a much more stripped down, clean installed version that doesn't have all the extra, you know, crap that Microsoft wants to actually put. But it is still cool, and it's nice to see this. It doesn't, uh, it, it isn't in the home version, so if you're on a home version, you will need to move on to a, um, you will need to move on to a pro version to actually get Sandbox. Uh, they should have added to the home version, it would have been nice, but I guess they want to maybe try to push some people into the pro version instead. But uh, it's a nice add-on and I think it's really cool. And for years, you know, we needed to have a separate software to actually have a virtual uh, space within Windows. Well, now you've got that virtual Windows available and uh, it's kind of nice to see that they're working on this. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And of course, we'll continue talking about Windows versions and all that's happening uh, has new versions are available and of course talk about insider stuff. Hope you enjoy the videos.